this lesson I'm going to show you the electric guitar parts to the song Love Like Fire by Hillsong United. Uh, this is a great example if you've been working through any of your scale positions and any of your complement chords in the electric series. This is a great example about how all of that works together, how uh, where signature licks come from, uh, where little licks uh, in like a pre-chorus, where that comes from. So let's start with the first lick, the signature lick. This defines the song. You hear it in the intro, you hear it in the verse. It sounds like this. <laughs> Did they come up with that lick? Uh, how would you know where to even start with something like that? Well, it's in the key of E, and if you've worked through all your complement chords, this is just the, the first chord, the one chord, in the fourth hand position. So it's based off of the fourth scale in the key of E, and this is just the, the one, the first complement chord. So since it's based off of the one chord, the key of E, it works over top uh, almost every chord in the chord family, and that's why you can hear it repeated over and over in the progression in the intro as well as the verse. So here's how you play it. Your pointer finger will get the seventh fret on the first two strings to actually bar those two. Your pinky will get the ninth fret on the second string. And then right above it, you'll stack your ring finger on the third. Now the reason why your pointer finger has to get the first two strings is your pinky's coming on and off while you're doing the lick. So here's what you do. Now that you have your position, you just need your picking pattern basically. So you're going to start on the third string and then come up on the second. Real quick. Now you take your pinky off, your pointer finger is getting the seventh and you're doing the same thing here. Put your pinky back on like you had it. So those three together are just this. Now the last one's a little bit different. The first part's the same, you hit the third string. Um, you come up on the second, but your pinky is gonna hammer on to the ninth fret. So you play the string with your finger getting the seventh and your pinky hammers on to the ninth. And then finally you can get the first string. So here's the whole thing. Now you have the whole intro of the whole verse. It's just that little lick repeated over and over and over. Now, uh, the pre-chorus, if you listen carefully, it's kind of hard to pick out, but it has a little run um, during the pre-chorus. Now this run is based off of the, the three scale. Um, and once you know the three scale, this lick is actually super easy because you're just descending in the three scale. <laughs> So get familiar with the three scale and make this um, a whole lot easier. Uh, what you're doing is taking uh, this note in the three scale in the key of E. So this will be the uh, fourth string on the fourth fret. And you're going to slide it up two frets. Now I'm actually going to use my middle finger to do it. And then the ring finger is going to catch right underneath it on the third string on the sixth fret. Now from here, this is where you're just descending in the three scale. So that pinky's in the three scale. So sixth fret, fourth fret, go up a string, sixth fret, fourth fret, and now you can go to the seventh fret with your pinky, or you have another option if you wanna if you wanna slide down. You get the second fret on that D string and that fourth string. So that's the first part of the lick, and when you come back into it, you do the same thing. The only difference is instead of coming to that that note, the last note that you played, you actually come back one more and land and end on this note. And this note is the sixth fret of the fifth string. So it kind of looks like a minor pentatonic scale. So just your pointer and ring finger, uh, they're doing all the work. It's the 
first one, here's the second one. So that's the pre-chorus, that's all there is to it. Now, the chorus is real big, of course, um, the biggest part of the song. So all that's happening here is just some complement chords um, based off of different positions. And this is the great thing about complement chords is you can mix it up if you've learned all the complement chords in the, uh, the fifth hand position, third hand position, fourth hand position, you can mix them up based on the chord progression. So this is based off of the one scale. It's the first chord in the one scale. So what you're going to do here is go to the twelfth fret. Point your finger is going to get those two on the twelfth fret. And then your middle finger is going to get the next string, the third string, and the thirteenth fret. can just do eighth notes. So from here I'm going to go to the five chord and this is back in the fifth position. This just looks like a, a D chord, a D shape, and you'll start on the eleventh fret, ring finger on the twelfth, pointer finger on the eleventh. Now from here the next chord, you can just bar uh, the three, I'm still in the fifth hand position, you can just bar the three on the ninth fret. Optional if you want your pinky on the twelfth fret, it can go there if you want to. And that's going to lead the way for the middle finger coming down right next to the pointer finger, and this will be on the tenth fret of the second string. And if you want that pinky down, you could have it down. So that repeats, so I'm going to play the whole thing again. So this high chord. So those are all the chords for uh, the chorus. Just some complement chords mixed in that go along with the chord progression that's happening in the chorus. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple, just a few uh, complement chords in the chorus. You have just a lick that's based in the three scale in the pre-chorus, and then your verse and intro. It's just one complement chord with a picking pattern for the signature lick.